welcome, welcome to my channel, The Preppy Crafty Girl. It's Jonna. I'm here for another thrifted haul for Thrifty Thursday and also thrifted treasures, thrifty finds. These are hashtags that are a open collab hosted by Shri at Turquoise Dreaming and also Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. So welcome, welcome. And I would add myself to the to the thrifty Canucks, but I am not Canadian, so. But anyway, okay, I, ha I have a little story. I am building or wanting to build a greenhouse type of a thing, structure, um, on my property, and I am trying to collect old doors and old windows. So I've been on the hunt. Well, I follow this girl on YouTube and she lives in my area and she posted that there was an antique store going out of business. And in the background, I saw a whole stack of doors and windows. So I drove down there the next day and well, I zoomed in cause I saw the sign of the store. She didn't say where it was, but I zoomed in on the sign of the store. So I did a little Nancy drawing and I found the place and I drove down there. It was about 40 minutes away from where I am. And they were selling off everything in this antique store. And all the money was going, it was called an estate sale, I guess. But the store was closing and they hired this pastor and his crew to come in and run this estate sale. And all the money was going to go toward helping uh, people that are trying to get off of drugs or have a drug addiction and they're trying to uh, rehabilitate these people back into society by giving them like job skills and that. And that's my heart. I used to do that where I used to live and I, um, I'm all about that God sees us the way he sees us and not how we see ourselves. And so I, um, I started this ministry and it was all about helping people get rehabilitated so that they could uh, be productive in society once again and they get whole, they get made healed, they get hold and they get set free. So uh, to live their best life in the Lord. And that's just kind of my heart, always been my heart. And so I had such a wonderful morning there and talking to the pastor and then I got to pray for them and it was very powerful morning. And uh, so anyway, I did get, I did get a door and I got five windows. So super excited about that. I still need two more doors and I need one more window. I'll be on the hunt. And, um, yeah, so let me tell you what else I got while I was there. So I'm going to show you these receipts that I got. It is on, I don't even know what this thing, I'm going to insert a photo of this right now. And it's from the 1920s. It's out of, I think out of some cash register or something like that. But there was a whole roll of these little invoice receipt sheets. And um, so anyway, I bought the whole little this big metal stand type thing that was rolling on I don't know if it's part of a cash register or what the dealio was but it's very cool very um art deco and even if I just use it as like a plant stand I take I'll take all the this off <laughs> all of these off and use those in my art so anyway got those this is another thing that was in this huge pile in a box so I got these receipt or I mean I guess they're receipts or invoices or something yeah like an invoice of some type it's called statement and um but anyway look at this this is like I'm gonna have to sell these in my shop I don't know I, I'm just gonna have to sell like them in my shop because I'm never gonna use all of these this is just a tremendous amount but that's back when they had that printer well, was it called like a dot matrix machine or something and um yeah so i don't know that's a good six inches there of receipts or statements so i have to do that then i got some magazines which i have tons of magazines this is a 1946 mccall's 
Uh, the only reason why I got drawn in was because of the bride and I thought that was just so gorgeous. It does have like a lot of damage, lots of damage, but her face and the McCall's thing is, you know, still good. I could cut that all out and I just adore all the imagery in these. Um, ooh, ah, okay. That's Adam and Eve. So biblical. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, that's probably not proper either. Okay, what's going on here with McCall's? <laughs> oh, this is good. But shopping one day, Mrs. A made a find. Twas Windex to take all such cares off her mind. This is a great thing. I'm going to definitely put that in. Mazzola salad oil can make your own mayonnaise. That would have come in handy during the lockdown, right? Best foods, camp house indoors, what? Anyway, so I thought this would be fun. It does have some water damage, but you know, anyway, I'll cut around, cut into it. And then I got a 1950, like I need another one, but the 1950s is my favorite for getting um, yearbooks and there was a guy standing over the table and he was pulling all the yearbooks as fast as he could get and I got this one. I saw 1950 and I just grabbed it before he could even grab it. So I did get one. He could grab all the others and then left a bunch of 70, 80 and 2000s which I wasn't interested in. But I love the 1950s ones and this is 1950s. So you have all the cool um, you know, hair setting that they used to do and the horn trim glasses. And the reason why I wanted this one is because it's got these like wonderful illustrations and sketches throughout it. Let me see if I can, and the pictures, this is a college one. See, it's got these little like sketches. Oh my goodness. So I did get it. Um, I love all the little class things and the ROTC, baseball, basketball. These are so much fun. And um, I have in my Etsy shop, I've got packages of anywhere from the 1920s all the way up to the 1960s yearbook pages. Oh, this is why I wanted it. Look how cute those are. These illustrations, they are throughout. Look at them. They all look like movie stars, don't they? I wish that my senior pictures looked like looked like that. It didn't, they did not. <laughs> ah, anyway, but see it's got like really pretty cool sketches and everything. And it also has these tiny, I've already taken out some pages. But it's already, it has these little tiny ones that I love using, and I've got a video coming up on those. And I have another video um, that I've already had up that uses these smaller yearbook images and also the larger ones. So that's the 1950 Razorback yearbook. Okay, I did get this. Oh, it looks really bad, but I, ha I washed it. It was badly stained, but I did get some of the stains out. And... Um, I need to iron it because it's very badly wrinkled. It is like bead sack cloth and it comes with this hanger that you hang on the clothesline. I only paid a dollar for it, so I will have to patch it. But um, anyway, you put your clothespins in it and it came with all these little wood clothespins. So how cute is that? You hang it on your clothesline and then you have your clothespin and you move it down the clothesline. But I just thought that was so cute and I thought once I iron it, I'm gonna stick it in my laundry room somewhere. I don't know that I need to put in some clothespins, but I just thought it was just really cute. The Farmers and Merchants Bank, um, 1945. So that is that. Okay, I got the Better Homes and Gardens magazine, which is July of 1951. And you know, I got it for all the goodness in here. And I'm gonna be using these things in my images, in my cookbook journals. 
This one smells a little musty, so I will do my little trick to it to get the mustiness out of it. And then I will cut them up. But look how cute this is, this seven, freshen up with seven up. Back when the advertisements used to be beautiful little families, right? So anyway, got that. I've never gotten the Chicago Tribune magazine, so I have two. This one is also the Chicago Tribune. It's from 1973, but it doesn't have its it doesn't have like the cover on it. But the images in here, look at that stereo. I would love to have this wood grain trolley cart for my craft room and uh, from Kmart. And then of course it has girls in there and all the fashions and look at that bathing suit. How about the velour bathing suit from Kmart? Bikini fashions for $7. And uh, yeah, so anyway, sailing manual, but the images and the fashions from 1970. Look at her with her little crocheted cap on, love it. Look at her, with her little daisy print top on and the squirt. Uh, I guess this is when like shoes started to go more comfortable than aesthetically pleasing because, you know, oh boy. <laughs> Forever young. Oh, look how cute they are. How cute are those? Joe's son bottle feeds the lambs. You know who needs to have this? Hi there, Joe Magiera. Have you any wool? A certain times about five tons. I've got to get this to Sandy Wilhelmina. She needs this article. I will pull that out. So Sandy, message me. I need your, I need your Addy and I will send you that article. Uh, let's see, black velvet feels good on you. Anyway, super, super cute. Um, and then I got this one, One Man Chicago. Again, really fun images. Oh my goodness, look at this. The whole bathroom's carpeted. Back when they used to bath carpet the bathrooms. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> uh, watches. Oh my God, what is this? Vacation at home this year with an Esther Williams swimming pool. I love that. Look at the cash register. Look at the credit cards. It's only plastic money, but running a credit card system gives American Express headaches, among them computer errors, card thefts, and customers who flip out on spending binges, and these in turn help determine exactly what you can do with your card. Wow. Oh, I love that for the summer journal. JC Penney's. Oh my gosh, isn't she cute? Any hose? Uh, those are not cute. Wee bolts. Never heard of that. Oh my goodness, look at this. I was in a house that had this. I was in an estate sale that had that. Almonds. Oh, look at them in the hammock. Look at him in the hammock. Look at him with his fro and his um, sunglasses and Bermuda shorts and they're watching a baseball game outside. I love it. Dad deserves the best. Oh my goodness, look at these. Kiki sandals. Oh, I love these. I remember these. Remember you could eat right out of the box. Like you could, op you could open it a certain way and then you pour the milk in and you can eat right out of the, the little boxes. They still make these? Oh my goodness, this is going in. This is gonna go in my journal. I gotta take this out now while I'm thinking about it because I just am having road trip, family road trip flashbacks of having breakfast in the family wagon and we would all fight over the Apple Jacks, the Sugar Smacks, the Sugar Pops, and the Fruit Loops. And nobody wanted the, the, um, Special K, or nobody wanted the Raisin Bran, or the Corn Flakes, or the 19, Product 19. We all wanted the sugary goodness, the Fruit Loops, and the Frosted Flakes. So, 
Anyway, that's gonna go in mine for sure. I love looking back at these. It just brings back so many memories. Oh my goodness, does it bring back memories. I love it. Uh, never liked V8. Oh, who, that's Mary Lou Henner right there. 1973. Doesn't even have her name there, but that's who that is, I bet. Sure looks like her. Anyway, memories. Wow, they had a lot of uh, smoking and alcohol ads in here. Okay, yep. and then I got this gift from Top Value and the Shopper Stamps. Now, I got, okay, this, and I got Mademoiselle, but this said $10. She sold me all of these for just a few dollars. I did not pay $10. That was just on there from I don't even know what. But anyway, so these, I have Top Value, you know, the little collector stamps but look how much fun this is look at the woman riding the ride on lawnmower and the guys laying in the hammock under the sun oh my goodness i have been looking all over for these and i'm so happy this was one of the things i wanted to i wanted to find one of these um i really the one i'm looking for is an h s green stamp catalog because i used to shop out of the s and h green stamp i i have this clock right here i have that in my craft room um, of course, it's all in storage right now. But I'll have to, in fact, let me take this out because I'm going to put it in my, I'm going to put it in my, my journal. Well, before I forget, I also have this little travel clock. It was my grandfather's. It's just so cute. Anyway, these are so much, so much, oh wait, let me see the canisters. <laughs> Let's see. I know I'll be wanting some of these canisters for sure. <gasps> Look at the owl, the graduation owl, and the little dog. Oh my goodness. How cute are those. Look at this, the coffee and the tea. I would do that now. This would be so in. I have this. I have this now. I bought it at a thrift store for a buck. Sure do. And I've seen these too. I've seen these. Coasters. Yep. Anyway, so much fun looking back at this era. Um, this was from 1979. This one is Shopper Stamps, and I already love this for summer with the, I already love it. I uh, don't know, this is page three, so we're missing some pages, so I don't know if I can. How about Badminton, which I have for my camper, and I also have this in my vintage camper, a croquet set oh my gosh i would love to have this set up right here for outside my camper we had one of these it went flying through a window one night when we were younger there was a storm um i would love to have this set right there <laughs> so i mean i'm just going right back at it uh look at the little hot dogs on the grill anyway I don't, I don't know what shopping, shopping thing this is. Let me see if I can find it anywhere. And it's not in the back either. So, oh, I'd love to have this wood grain um, video camera. Who makes that? Number 11, GAF S70 movie camera. Features easy cartridge loading, electric motor drive, built-in daylight indicator, and a pistol grip. <laughs> love it. Love, 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 love these. Remember these, the, the uh, key wallets? They were like a little hardbacked key wallet. And I have one of these. I got it at a thrift store and put it in my, um, it's a valet. And you can sit on the bench, put your shoes on. And I put it in my closet. But I gave it to a friend of mine when I was moving. Um, you know, I just had to pare down. I had a lot of stuff. So... So much fun, so much fun. Look at the jewelry, look at that. Um, let's see how much jewelry was. Oh, it doesn't tell you. It just tells you how many books of stamps you have to have. But it's so weird because this one does not have any kind of saying at the bottom. So I don't know what kind of stamps they were or anything like that. Let's look at the dishes. Oh, I would love this. I'm gonna have to look for this one. This one is called National Meadowlark. 
Oh, it's melamine. It's probably not around anymore unless I find it in somebody's attic. Oh, here, look at Meg from uh, Chasing Retro. Look at the strawberries. You could have the strawberry melamine, and I'll have the, I'll have the um, daisy melamine. We'll go camping. Oh, everybody had this. Everybody has this. When I go around to estate sales, I see this one everywhere. It is the um, Franciscan Desert Rose. Sure is. Yep. And look at the Corel, the old Corel. I see this a lot, and I see this one, the avocado green and the yellow. I want this daisy melamine. If anybody ever finds it, they better contact me. And let's see, I have, and I got a vintage set of silverware. Oh, I want this with the daisies on it. I want this tablecloth. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there in the world. <laughs> and maybe one day I'm at a uh, estate sale or thrift store and I find one, I'll just put it out there. How much fun. So, oh my goodness, look at the avocado green and the, the harvest yellow. Love it. Or mustard yellow. It was a harvest gold. That's what it was called. Wow, TVs have come a long way, haven't they? Anyway, okay, that is so much fun. And last thing, oh no, not last thing. I've got three more things. This Mademoiselle, this is from 1943. It is in great Great shape. Oh my goodness, Marshall Field and Company. This had like really high-end clothing in here. From Bridgeport, Gorham, Silver, by Sterling. Yeah, exactly. If they only knew. I got, oh, that was what I got myself too. Um, I went to, at the estate sale, the last week's post, I got myself some leather driving gloves and they were pristine in the package, brand new and had cashmere on the inside. I got them in brown and black and they were in my size of seven and a half and the woman never, never used them. And I, they threw them in the box with everything else that I paid hardly anything for. And I'm um, sure they were very expensive back in the day. Oh, look at that. It's clothing. Lambskin. Wow. Kahoma Luana. Anyway, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through this whole thing, but you can see how oh the advertisements in here. I just wanna I'm gonna read through this whole thing and just love every minute, every minute of it. Anyway, okay, so putting that over here. I don't, I've never gotten a vintage Mademoiselle, so I'm super excited. My other thing that's on my list of wanting to find is a 17 magazine from 1977 and 78, the August edition, because the August edition was always back to school. And I used to wait and wait because it was double the thickness and it was all the back to school fashions, makeup, everything that was trending for school. And it was my favorite as a teenager. Those were my favorite issues and I have yet to find them from 70, be like 77, 78 or 79, right in there would have been my high school years. And, um, well, I actually graduated in 82, but really ninth grade, 10th grade, I read Seventeen magazine. And I would love to get my hands on uh, one of those issues. And also the Spiegel catalog from those same years because Spiegel catalog used to come to the house and I would circle all the clothes that I wanted in there and of course wouldn't get anything, but you know what a girl can dream. Uh, the Spiegel catalog and I had this, this girl was in my class and she would come bring her Spiegel catalog and she, yeah, got whatever she circled. <laughs> and I thought it would work for me, not so much. Um, but anyway, I, had, I ended up finding, of all things, an entire bag of what? Mice. But anyway, there's kittens in here, little kitties, little mice, 
like a laying down mice and a standing up mice. You guys heard my mouse story. And of all things, I'm buying a bag of mice. Like what? But anyway, I, uh, the reason why I got it was because I wanted the little deer in here. Look at these little baby deer. They're so, so cute. There's no puppy. Oops, there's no puppies. There's only kittens and little mice. And I'm not really sure what they use these for. Maybe they were like cupcake toppers is what I'm assuming or used for cakes or whatever. But oh, I just love the little baby deer. It's just adorable. And I'm thinking what I would do with these is I wish I had a jar in here, but I'm going to start collecting my little jelly jars and I'm going to paint the top and then I'm going to glue these to the top like a, like a, you know, I don't even have anything I can show you what I'm thinking on. Uh, Cause I've done it in the past and I've used those wades, you know, the little wades ceramics or porcelains or whatever, but you put them on the top of a jar like this and it makes like the knob at the top of your lid. Anyway, I thought about doing that. And of course I have so, so many of these. What is this thing? Is this a little kitten? Oh my gosh, look how tiny. Um, I have so, so many of these. These are gonna go up in the shop and I'll probably just like do a little mix of them and stick those in the shop. So I got a stack of, not that I need any more, but you know, and when it when they're inexpensive and you can find them, and I love the thin font, and I like this size palm of my hand. I got these flashcards, and last but not least, a glass knobbed sewing machine drawer. And the reason why I got this is I needed something that I can hold one second. Yes, I needed something that I could store my postcards in. And I think that this is gonna work out great. So that is the last thing that I got. And I paid like, I don't know, $5 for this. And I just love the glass knob, super cute. Um, anyway, yeah, got that thing. It is, the knob is a little broken, but it's not. Somebody sanded it down so you wouldn't hurt yourself on it. <laughs> so I appreciate that, whoever did that. But anyway, that is my haul, and I will see you guys um, for another crafting video. So stay tuned and hit the like button if you're enjoying my videos, and I would love to get your comments on anything that I picked up and anything you would like to see come to my shop of anything I've shown or shown in the past. And, um, you know, subscribe and share this video out. Let's get, you know, the, the momentum going for the Preppy Crafty Girl, please. And um, subscribe if you like my content. And I will see you soon. Bye, all.